What's up everyone, Archon Tsunami here bringing you guys a video about Tekken 7 and its season pass and kind of its guest characters in that situation and so talk about Soul Calibur 6 as well and their guest character that's been announced and kind of how Capcom does it as well like their competitors. Um, but real quick I want to get into, I was going to bring you guys a Fortnite video. Sadly I was having trouble getting it to format properly so I'm going to have to work on that and try to figure out like recording length so it fits. And I can get it on Share Factory, and then I can kind of do a video about that. So give me, an, I'll do it Sunday, because Wednesday there's not going to be a video. I'm going to be in the dentist office, so no video that day. Uh, the other reason I wanted to touch on this is because, or for Tekken 7, is because Noctis comes out tomorrow, and we'll be playing FF15 on stream today. So if you want to come check it out at twitchtv archon underscore underscore tsunami. Feel free to come check it out. I'll also try to get Noctis for tomorrow. I've got to figure out if he's going to be up on the PlayStation Store right away so I can buy him for $8 because I really don't want to buy the Season Pass. And this kind of connects to the whole me talking about the Season Pass thing. So let's get into it. Basically, Tekken 7 Season Pass is $25, right? US. And 13 of that 25 is for a game mode Tekken Bowl which to me doesn't make any sense why is that game mode $13 when it should have just been included at launch if you want to do gimmicky stuff like this don't make it cost so much because people are gonna burn out on it they're absolutely gonna burn out on it and anybody who bought Tekken 7 isn't buying it for Tekken Bowl so that $13 price stamp is just nuts and to pay the $25 for the season pass, knowing that what could have been two guest characters or two other characters or whatever, probably would have been guest characters, because from what I understand, I think they said anybody they added to T7 that's from the original cast of characters that aren't in the game will be free. Which actually doesn't make any sense, because Eliza wasn't free, so I have no idea how that even works. You had to get the season pass or pre-order the game in order to get her. Kind of contradicts that. I don't know if that was actually true or not. But anyway, that $13 could have gone towards making two new guest characters, or could have been towards licensing them. And the guest characters they do have are $8 a piece. That to me is nuts. $8 a piece for two characters when every other game out there that has guest characters is running their, I think, unlock at $5. So my guess is, is that SNK wanted $3 for every purchase of geese. Or three dollars out of the season pass. Same with Square Enix, because I'm sure Noctis is going to be eight dollars. That's just how it is. I think Eliza is eight dollars too. If you didn't buy her with the pre-order or the season pass, that to me just is mind blowing. They are overcharging for characters, especially a season pass that's so weak that only has Tekken Bowl and two characters in it. Technically three if you want to count Eliza, but you could have got her for free just pre-ordering the game. Uh, it, it's really weak season pass. Look at Capcom season passes. Five characters. Every season is basically what you get. This se last se or the first season was a bunch of like older characters. Second season was a bunch of new characters they wanted to add to the game. This season is a mixture between that and like Q, uh, Blanca coming back. They're adding a uh, Folk, I think, who's new, was one of the dolls. Uh, G, which is, I guess, a ripoff of Q. Or, no, they're not adding Q, sorry. They're adding G, which is, uh, to me, looks like a ripoff of Q. Not really a ripoff, but I guess maybe Q before you, I don't know. You, you know what I mean, though. They're similar. But anyway, point being is that if you want to buy those characters individually, $5 at the door. That's it. And you unlock them. And then you look at the Arcade Edition update. Look at how much that stuff brought to SF5. It brought extra battle. It brought arcade mode, which obviously needed to be in the game anyway, but it brings the arcade mode itself is so diverse that it lets you like pick between series of games and run through the arcade ladder with those characters. And I mean, tech, what does Tekken 7 have? Tekken 7 has treasure battle, arcade or er, has story mode, yes. Street Fighter 5 also had a story mode that was I believe free. Added in. 
So both games have a story mode. Both games now have an arc. I don't know if Tekken 7 has an actual arcade mode or not. I think it does. It has arcade endings. But they're really nothing special. And it has Treasure Battle for cosmetics, which Street Fighter V just matched with Extra Battle. And they're trying to charge $13 for Tekken Bowl. That, to me, is just mind-boggling. Why would you pay that for a season pass? $25 for two guest characters in Tekken Bowl. That's just mind-boggling. I don't know. To me, Capcom has the better deal right now with their season pass and their character pricing. Uh, if Tekken 7 does get a second DLC set, like season pass wise, I do hope that they learn from that and they don't try to overcharge for it and what have you. Um, as for Soul Calibur 6, we've already seen that they're going to put guest characters in, which is not new to the series. They've always been known for their guest characters. This year, it's going to be the, the Witcher 3 character. Um, I'm sure he'll be there in the launch like Akuma was. And then, I don't know, as for a season pass, I don't think they've announced anything for it yet. But it's going to suck if they try to do the whole season pass thing again and there's a bunch of characters left out from Soul Calibur that people really wanted in. Because Soul Calibur's cast really wasn't that big to begin with. There was a lot of key players, or key names, that people kind of grew attached to tournament-wise as well as just in general, like Astroth, Valdo. I know Zhang... I think they just call her X. X is in the game. Killix in the game, from what I've seen. Uh, Siegfried. But the other two, the first two I mentioned, aren't that I've seen. But it's going to suck if they're not in the game. Because instead they wanted to go out of their way to develop guest characters. It's the same thing that happened with Tekken. Like, Tekken had characters like Lee, or Lei, not Lee, Lei, uh, Julia Chang. Michelle Chang, either one would have been fine. You lose both of them. Instead, you get, like, I think... Joe. I think they added those moves to new characters to the series. I'm not sure. I want to say Josie might be a... Uh, kind of a replacement for them. Maybe? I don't know. But there's really no joke characters in the game anymore like there was in the past. Like, Dr. Boskanovich. Uh, Ganryu might be considered one. Because his endings were typically joke endings. Stuff like that. It's more of a serious tone of game. But even so, like those, there's people that still played those characters. And they're getting away from that to add these new characters in that are just trying to draw people from other series that may or may not like fighting games in general. Because, I mean, FF15's Noctis is a far stretch from any fighting game. At least Geese is a, from a fighting game, you know? He has a background, and people have played his game. So people who have played i think marco wolves i think is what he comes from even i think fatal fury i think he was in one of those will at least have some interest in the in the game and have some knowledge of like fighting games in general i don't know but i think i'm gonna end it with that uh if you guys like the video be sure to subscribe and that be sure to check out the, the twitch channel which i talked about earlier at twitch.tv backslash archive underscore underscore tsunami be sure to leave a comment down in the comment box with your thoughts on the whole season pass for Tekken 7 compared to like other companies doing season passes and what you kind of want in for Soul Calibur 6. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what other people think. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. And I will see everybody Sunday with the next video, hopefully about Fortnite. Later.